Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to another episode of SRL Sports Rapping Life. Of course, I'm your host, Sports King, and we're just going to go ahead and recap. Let's get right into it. You know the slogan, University of Miami played the North Carolina Tar Heels. What a great game, great game. It was a one-sided game. If you missed it, great win for the Canes. They came out. They were very explosive. The final score was 47-10. to 10. It was a one-sided game. Uh, um, when I was uh, looking at that game, uh, from a defensive standpoint, take your hats off to the Canes. I mean, they uh, was all over the Tar Heels. I mean, you had three guys in a, a defensive unit came up with the three touchdowns on pick six. It was it was really great to to, to watch. Uh, you had Joe Jackson, uh, who really came out there was phenomenal. Romeo Finley got also got a, a great interception, and then number six, he is the hard hitter. I mean, he came out and he was hitting, it. and and it looked like he was getting energy just off of hitting, and that's Javante Dean. So really good win for uh for the canes um when uh they announced who the starting quarterback was going to be in the Kosi perry the crowd they stood up they were crazy i mean all you heard was just noise for the red shirt freshman uh from start to finish and he came out he threw for over 100 yards really uh really great uh play from him um he seemed very very uh calm cool composed um and he really was driving the offensive unit um so really great win uh, for the Canes, I didn't think they were going to put up that many points. But like I said, hats off to the defense of uh, staff, Manny Diaz and the crew. Really, really great uh, game plan. It looked like the Tar Heels really couldn't really do nothing uh, with uh, with the Canes. They 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 really look confused a whole lot, um, and they really just looked like they were out of sync uh, from start to finish. So great win for the Canes. The crowd, they came. They were very explosive. That also threw off the Tar Heels to me because, man, I mean, that stadium was rocking. I mean, if you were in attendance, leave a comment below. Let me know how that stadium was because it, it appears as though, man, that stadium was just so loud that the Tar Heels couldn't get anything going. I mean, only putting up 10 points. Um, now, the question that I tend to pose, can we keep that momentum going into Florida State? come next week. Uh, we already know the rivalry between uh, FSU and UM. Um, I'm going to definitely be touching on that in my future blogs, but I just want to know, can we keep that rhythm? And do we continue to use Nikosi Perry? I say we we continue to use a young man. Put him, put him in these big spotlights. I really feel like he's, he's ready for it. I mean, I, I really feel like he's trying to show up and prove that he's definitely here to stay for the long run. I mean, uh, just 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 looking at it, yeah, uh, uh, people say that he threw an interception yesterday. Yeah, and even in that interception, if you look at that play, I mean, it was a good throw to me. He's very he's very precise um, in his throws. Uh, to me, it just looked like that that interception really could have been a catch as well. Looking at that play, but needless to say, I mean, great win uh, for the Canes. Um, just now. We go ahead, celebrate that win, enjoy it, but let's focus on FSU now because we know FSU has had our number, and I definitely think that we could go ahead and get a win uh, uh, with FSU this time around. So great win for the Canes. I just really wanted to touch on uh, the vlog. Really great win um, overall. You had even some guys, um, and even uh, DJ Dallas, who had a career over 100 yards. That was one of his career games. Really great, great running. And that young man, Travis Homer, great win. So even from the running back play, um, it, was, it was really great to see that as well. So great win overall. Uh, celebrate, enjoy the weekend. But come Monday, let's get it to the game field. Let's, let's go ahead and get ready and get prepared mentally for FSU. Um, I, I know the Tar Heels. They probably didn't think we were going to steamroll them like that, but give it up for the, the, the Canes. I mean, that turnover chain was being brought out yesterday. I mean, you had three guys wearing it. The crowd was going crazy. So great win. I just wanted, wanted to touch on what I observed and my perspective. So, yeah, the final win was 47-10 to 10 in number 16 UM's favor. Great win. Let's get prepared for FSU until then. Go Canes.